Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is your boy, Say One History on The Awakened Show. And today, I want to take a step back from the U.S. Navy, the Nimitz Report, Tom DeLonge, Luis Elizondo. I want to step away from that whole thing today and actually go into the rabbit hole a little bit deeper and talk about something completely different. And that's because I was at work today looking through my phone and I came across an article that was really interesting and I thought you guys might want to hear about it. And the article is actually titled, Scientists Demonstrate Remarkable Evidence of Dream Telepathy Between People. Now, just to give you a little background on dream telepathy, dream telepathy suggests that human beings have the ability to communicate telepathically with another person while they are dreaming. And although this is the first time a lot of you are hearing about this, this isn't a new concept. In fact, the scientific interest in telepathy dates back to the fathers of the psychoanalytic movement. Farad, for example, looked at the implications of telepathy on psychoanalytic thought. He also considered dream telepathy or the telepathic influence of thought on dreaming on multiple occasions. Carl Jung believed in the telepathic hypothesis without question and even developed a theoretical system to explain paranormal events of this nature. And it appears that great minds think alike because Nikola Tesla once said the day science begins to study non-physical phenomenon, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. There's also a wealth of anecdotal and clinical material that exists which supports the possibility of telepathic effects that occur in dreams. However, an experimental approach to the topic did not become possible until psychophysiological laboratory technology became available. It was discovered that sleeping research participants awakened from periods of rapid eye movement or REM activity were frequently able to recall dream episodes. As a result, it was possible to request a telepathic receiver to attempt dreaming about a target stimulus that was being focused on in a distant location from a telepathic sender. So what they are basically saying in a nutshell is when a normal person goes to sleep and they fall into this REM sleep activity, the studies show that if you wake a person up out of this REM sleep, it's likelier that the person will remember their dreams. And with this information, they wanted to know if a psychic could send messages in this REM sleep state and if the person that was asleep would remember the message when they woke up. So to find this out, they took two people in two completely separate rooms that never meant each other. They would let the receiver or the person that was sleeping fall deep into REM sleep and the psychic would then send these telepathic messages. The sender or the psychic was instructed to focus on an art print that depicted a school of dance by Edgar Degas, which showed several women in dance class. When the receiver or the person that was awakened out of REM sleep came to, he said I was in a class made up of maybe half a dozen people. It felt like a school and there was one little girl that was trying to dance with me. When the scientists had heard this, they were astonished and continued to gather more scientific data just like this. They hope that with more studies, they will be able to open up a whole new way of communicating. A sixth sense, if you will, one that will allow us to communicate with our thoughts instead of our words. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be updated for all new cool content that's coming out. I'm currently editing all of my old videos because back then I really didn't know what I was doing. And I want you guys to enjoy a lot of the topics that we discussed a year ago. So if you're interested, you can kind of go back and check those out. I'm not done with all of them, but I should be done within the next couple of weeks. As always, I appreciate all of you guys watching. Thanks to all the Facebook groups out there. And I hope you have a good weekend and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.